in today's show, I want to talk to you about exactly how to write a book, a nonfiction book that is guaranteed to sell and make you tons of money and scale your business and bring tons of clients into your business. Hey, I'm Ken. I used to be a homicide detective. I was a cop for over 15 years and I got sick of it. When I found out I was going to become a dad, I needed to make a change. In the last 15 years, I've started four different businesses in four different industries and they've made a lot of money. This channel is dedicated to showing people exactly how to build an eight-figure coaching business every single part of it. I love teaching people how to write books, how to get your books traditionally published, how to turn those books into seven-figure coaching businesses, and you're going to find all that information right here. Okay, good to see you guys today. Listen, um, I, I, I am completely dedicated in my life to helping people write books. That, that's my main driving factor in my life, and if you guys are watching the show or listening to the show for any period of time, you know how passionate I am about that. But I'm only one person and it's really, it's, it's, it's unbelievable how big the problem is. Friends, listen to this. Over um, 500,000 nonfiction books are written every year in the United States. Um, it's about 650,000 if you include Canada. And 90% um, of those books never sell 100 copies. Think about that for a second. That means that 500,000 people are people just like you who want to write a great book and want to use the book as a lead magnet for their business and really figure it out. But as much as they wanted to do it and they wanted the book to be successful, the book failed and it never sold 100 copies. I've helped over 3,000 people to write amazing books. Some of the books I'm going to talk about today in this show. Um, but, but the fact of the matter is... I refuse to believe that any of those people started off in that journey saying, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to spend hours and hours writing it and months putting it together and getting ready for the launch only so it can fail. So why does that happen then? I've asked my students that, you know, why does that happen? And the responses I typically get, they didn't know how to launch their book. They didn't know how to market their book. They didn't know how to promote their book. And I'm going to tell you, the failure happens long before the book is published. Uh, and that, that is what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about the whole gamut. This might be a longer show, but it's definitely going to be worth it for you to stick around. Uh, because there's, there's three parts to making a book a bestseller, to publishing and selling tons of books. First, it's the creation phase, how you create the book. Second, it's how you launch the book. So you publish it and launch it. And then how you repurpose it. So it's create the book, launch the book, which includes publishing and repurposing. And very few people ever get this right. So let's talk about creating the book first. The vast majority of people who want to write nonfiction books, they are all people that have gone through some type of journey on their own. Tell me if this, this is you. They've gone through some type of journey on their own and they fixed a problem in their lives, whether it was a relationship or weight or making money online or whatever it is. And ever since that thing got fixed, you've been telling people the story. People see you and they're like, oh my gosh, you look so great. You're so different. You feel so confident. What happened? How's your life been? And you can't help tell them about the challenge, what you went through. You've told this story thousands of times. You had challenges in your life. You found this one thing, which was the difference maker. You started to apply that thing. Things started to change and la voila. And then what do they say? They say, you should write a book. That would be amazing. That's where your journey started. I want you to go into the comments of this show right now. And, and if that's how your journey started, say, yes, that's how my journey started. And I'll, I'll respond to every comment. If you guys have any questions about this process as I'm going through this video, just write comments in the chat below. And don't forget to subscribe to the page too because everything I'm talking about today is on this page in detail. But because that's the way that it happens to them, they eventually get to the point where they say, man, I'm going to write a book. They want to write a book to increase their notoriety in the marketplace. They want to write a book to drive more customers and clients in their business. And they like the idea of making money with the book. And that's where everybody starts. But here's the challenge. In the last 10 years, I have interviewed more than a thousand authors 
who wrote nonfiction books and they failed. And I asked them a whole bunch of questions as I've been studying this topic because I came up with a system I'm going to share with you today that's going to blow your mind and it's going to show you how to write in a book in a way that's going to guarantee that it won't fail. Very few people actually know this system. But when I was asking questions to all those people with the bad books, I'd ask them tons of questions about their experience and their background, but I'd slide the most important question. I'd never tell them up front. I'd slide it into the middle so I'd get an honest answer. Used to be a police interrogator, you know. And the question was, how many books do you read a year? And most often they would answer to me, maybe one or two. So they're not readers. And what they're doing, what's happening because of that is they're taking away the only opportunity they could have to know what a good book looks like. So my first piece of advice to you today is if you want to write an amazing book, start reading amazing books. I'm writing a book right now called Build Your Following. So I'm reading all of these books, which are all books about building your following. These are all New York Times bestselling books. And I'm reading those books just to sharpen the saw. I'm not reading so I can plagiarize the information. I'm an expert on the subject, but I'm, I want to see the flow of how they read their books. And every time I've reviewed a book, here's what I've found. The difference between books that actually succeed and books that fail is all of the authors that never sell 100 copies, they wrote their books the way the story happened to them because they didn't know any better. Chronologically, when I was two-year-old, I stubbed my toe. Then I started eating candy. Then I got fat. Da -da 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 -da. People don't care about that. You know how the great books are written? Logically. So you want to ask yourself, who is your ideal reader? And then ask yourself, what's the problem that I'm going to solve in this book? That is the most, if you ask yourself that question before you start writing and you structure all your information around solving the problem, you're still going to tell all your stories. All the stuff you want to be in the book is still going to be in there. It just changes the order that you deliver the content. Goes from chronologically to logically. Here's a question you can ask yourself as you're trying to figure this out. Before you start writing a book, structure all of your chapters. Figure out what the chapters are going to be. How do you do that? It's simple. Ask yourself, if you had to do it all over again and you wanted to do it the fastest way possible, what would you avoid and what were the direct steps? Or another way to ask that question, if somebody came to you right now and paid you $40,000 for a year of coaching, actually for 90 days of coaching, and they, um, they were going to do whatever you said and they're paying you $50,000, but they only got 90 days. So time is crunched. It's very important for you to do this. What are the exact steps that you're going to put, tell them to do in the fastest way possible? So you're going to eliminate all the stuff they shouldn't do and just give them the facts, Jack, just the facts. And write those steps out on a piece of paper. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. Those are your chapters. You should just have had a big holy shit. If you've written a book before and it didn't work, you now know why, because you didn't do that, did you? Um, if you're about to write a book, I just saved you a ton. Now, what goes in each chapter? There's three elements that needs to be in each chapter. And every all the books that I've studied that have won, I find these three same elements in every chapter. Number one, you have to have a teaching component where you're teaching them the topic of the chapter. Number two, you have to include one of your stories, just one, one of your stories. Now, this you still have your story in every chapter. You see what you're doing? You're just changing the order. The most relevant story to that teaching point that you're doing in that chapter. And the third point and the most important point is what I call proof. You want to have proof in each chapter. What's proof? It's other people's stories, famous people's stories, your students' stories, research that's been published that's irrefutable. That's what makes great books great. If you go back now, based on what I've told you already, and you look at a couple books you thought were amazing, you're going to find that. It's really unbelievable. So that's, that's if you structure your book that way. So what you want to do is write out all the steps on a piece of paper and then go back to that piece of paper. And in every chapter, I want you to write out a bullet point list of everything you know about that topic of that chapter. You're going to end up with 10 or 15 things. 10 or 15 things. And uh, 
and it's, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Then you go back and you say, okay, the three essential elements in each chapter are teaching, story, and proof. And you take all those things and you group them into those three categories. Now you have the outline for your book. You have typically 10 chapters with three main topics in each chapter. Once you get the three topics figured out, all you're going to do is write madly. And that's the secret to our system is writing madly. What does that mean? That means every day, once a day for 10 minutes, you're going to sit down and you're just going to look at the next point in that chapter and you're just going to write for 10 minutes and just keep adding it to a worksheet. If you follow that system in 30 days, you will write the first draft to your entire book and you'll get the book finished. Now, publishing the book, a couple of really quick things for you. Number one, use a traditional publisher. Do not freaking self-publish. Traditional publishers will guarantee that your book is in every bookstore in North America. Traditional publishers have teams that are going to teach you the strategies for launching your book. Traditional publishers are not going to charge you to publish the book. They're not going to charge you for editing, for cover design. They do all that. All they do is they take a revenue share on your book's sales. And there are amazing traditional publishers that take very little. They The, the big incumbent traditional publishers like Penguin and Wiley and these big major companies, they typically take 80% of the sales and give you 20. The new traditional publishers that are out there, they take 30% of the sales and give you 70%. And then the last thing about um, selling the book is you've got to start as fast as humanly possible to promote the book. Like I'm talking seven, eight months before you launch it. Start promoting it. Start giving away value. Use a really good content strategy to publish content all over social media. Start talking about the book. Give away a chapter, see if that works, or create a bullet point summary of the book and give that way as a lesson plan to fixing the problem. You gotta get people onto your list. In the world we live in today, a best-selling book launch is directly related to how many people are on your list before you launch the book. And then when you launch the book, all you do is you create an offer to pre-sell the book. It's really simple. Uh, most people don't realize that if you use a traditional publisher, your book is going to be available for pre-sale on Amazon two months before the actual launch or in every bookstore. Then you're going to create a, a really low-end digital product that's very easy to put together. And you're going to go to your list and you're going to say, everybody who pre-orders the book right now, I'm going to give you free access to this thing that I created. It's that simple. Um, this is what I've taught to thousands of people. And this is what every one of them has done. And it's worked. See, what people don't realize is you typically get about a month to pre-sell your books. There are so many freaking gurus out there right now that they tell you to cheat. What they tell you to do is do a whole bunch of posting on social media uh, on your book launch day and drop your ebook price down to zero so they get it for free and ask people to go buy your ebook. You're going to give it to them for free. And then you're going to get 15 or 20 fans to or friends to grab the book for free and it will artificially inflate your book into the number one spot. And those gurus tell you, just take a screenshot of it there because now you're an Amazon best-selling author. Who wants to be a fake Amazon best-selling author? Nobody. That's not the secret. And anybody that has done that, I don't blame you for doing that. I blame your freaking coach. And I want to call out publicly anybody that's taking money from people and teaching them to do that shit because that shit doesn't work. It's fraudulent. And the publishing industry knows that. So many people go around saying, I'm a number one international best-selling author because they gave their ebook away for 20 minutes for free. And they put their book in some obscure little category like paleo diets because all their friends and family grabbed the book for free. It went up into the plot. Here's what they don't know. Every book you get somebody to buy in the pre-launch all the sales are not charged into the morning of the launch. Typically, they start going through around 10 a.m. So if you spend two months following my system, you're going to get at least 500 people to pay full price for your book in the pre-launch. Those 500 sales, they all hit Amazon at the same time on the day of the launch. And your book legitimately gets into the number one spot and stays there. The last thing is repurposing. Do a free plus shipping offer. Do a free plus shipping offer. 
Anyway, we've been together for quite a while now. I know you got some crazy good value out of this, but there's so much more to this story. I put a link in the show's notes that's going to take you to a private page that I created where I outline this entire strategy in detail. See, there's one more piece to the puzzle that stops people from writing books, and that's distractions. Even if you know my system, if you think about it, I just taught you to write a book only writing for 10 minutes a day and write it in 30 days. Well, if you do the math, 10 minutes times 30 days, it's five hours. When I realized that, I thought, man, I can, I can actually get people to write their entire book in a weekend. So we created the Writing Madly Weekend. It's a system where we give you all of this training up front. And we show you exactly how to do the details of this. There's videos, there's walkthroughs, there's daily emails, you name it. Then you get to come to a writing weekend where you're guaranteed to get your book, book written. And by the way, um, if you come to a writing weekend, I show you how to get a traditional publishing deal without using an agent. And thousands of people have done this. So you don't have to self-publish. It's going to change everything for you. The link to that page is right below this video. Click on that link. Spend some time going through the information. There's a video training where I actually write out on a whiteboard exactly how to build the client journey for your book. There's dozens of testimonials of people who have actually gone to our writing weekend. And um, we sell the writing weekend for $2,197. Well, if you take the time to go through the information and you decide it's right for you, we're going to give you an 87% discount. I'm so excited. Anyway, I hope this helps you. If this helps you, then please subscribe to the channel. Give me some love in the chat. If you have any questions about what I went through today, um, ask those questions in the chat below, and I promise you I'll respond to every one of the questions you ask.